Hi, Susan Hamilton here, Chief Executive Officer at Offbeat Business Media and Program Director at Offbeat Business Media Network. Um, and I just wanted to ask you, does it hurt? Yeah, you know, there's a lot of people that don't get much done because they're afraid of pain. And, and it, you can relate it to just about anything. You can relate it to uh, your physical health because it really <laughs> hurts to get out there and work out when you haven't done that in a while. Uh, it hurts to take yourself to the next level physically. Uh, but man, if you know anybody who refused to move their whole life uh, and doesn't get enough physical activity, well, yeah, they hurt too. They're not feeling any better. Uh, so it's a choice, right, when it comes to our health. But it's the same way in business. You know, it's easy to get stuck in a rut and think that, you know, maybe if I just keep my nose to the grindstone, things will be great one day. Uh, but there's a lot more people that feel like they're pretty much where they're going to be. This is it. it things, that, things is like they is. <laughs> and you know it, friends. That's not true either. Because things are constantly changing. It's a supernatural law. Things either get better or they get worse. They don't stay the same. You might be blinded to changes that are going on around you, but that doesn't mean they're not happening. So I just want to encourage you today to get aggressive with, um, with the things of your business. Because here's the thing. The real shame is that it's entirely possible to go through your entire life and never step into that thing right here that you knew your whole life you should be going after. It could be the next level of success. It could be that book you never wrote. Uh, it could be any number of things, that experience that you always wanted to have. But you get this life. You get this life. And like my dad used to tell me, it's a training ground. You wonder what, it's, what you're training for? Well, darlings, this is eternity training. That's exactly what it is. So that means that there really aren't any limits. The only limits you have are right up in her. What are you going to willing to believe? Are you willing to believe that the things that you see can come to pass? Are you willing to take those steps forward to see that positive growth? Because one thing's for sure, doing the same thing day after day after day after day after day with no results whatsoever, that's not going to get you where you need to go. There's got to be steady change, steady progression. I'll tell you a little tip. If you are getting discouraged in this space because you want to see things change quicker, I learned early on when I gained a bunch of weight with all of my pregnancies that I, if I was going to lose that weight, I couldn't uh, weigh myself every day. Now, when you start, when you're young, you know, you think you just weigh yourself every day and you can see the difference, but you can't. You can really see the difference when you back off and decide to weigh yourself at the same time every week and then against the next month that you really see a difference in a year. And when I learned to do that with my business, everything turned around with my mindset and I was able to really clearly see that what looks may feel like not a whole lot of progress at all is really amazing progress. It's really quite uh, the opposite. If you just keep going forward, learning, progressing, developing relationships, doing those things that make you a success day in, day out. It's those little things that matter. Tim Marvel, who did the quote in today's video, uh, or in today's email rather, uh, he always talks about that. It's those little things. It's the regular little things. True successes are the ones that do the little things better than anyone else. But don't stay in that little spot without pulling up, looking at it, and taking a review and seeing, okay, are we seeing progress here? And what, could, what does progress look like? Can you define what that progress is? What it is you want? What's your goal? Is your goal more employees? Is your goal more business? Is your goal more free time? Is your goal uh, to get out and, and work in the community in a much more meaningful way where your business is actually supporting your, op, your ability to be somewhere else to work with a nonprofit or work with an organization or work on the, the civic level. When you talk to Jeff Bickerstaff, for instance, uh, over in Saxe, well, he's got a nationwide uh, uh, agency over in Rockwall, and he's just doing some amazing things in the community, and he always has. He's has set a trend for his life in every community that he's lived in. He has chosen to take a civil role. 
And that's something we all need to really wonder about, right? Because just like our bodies, our relationships, and our business, our cities, our governments, all these things around us are not just holding still either. They may look stagnant. They might even use that phrase when they're describing it. But things are either getting better or they're getting worse. And if you're not participating in those things, you don't get to influence it. Because your voice over your cup of coffee is not the change you want to see in the world. It's going to take a little bit more than just having a great opinion and a great insight from your living room. You're going to have to be able to take that somewhere else if you really want to see a change. But you can do it. You can absolutely do it today. And Offbeat Business Media absolutely supports you in all of those things. So reach out to me. If you've got something on your mind that you have wanted to attack, or approach in a different way, in a much more successful way, in a larger way, so that you can see something on the other side. If you want to realize that vision that you have, or if you're starting to realize maybe you're not thinking big enough, you need to get with me and reply to this email and let me know when we can sit down and have some coffee and chat it up in a productive conversation and show you some of the things that we're doing at Offbeat Business Media and how that can impact your strong, influential brand to make a difference in your wallet, in your bank account, in your family, in your community, in your neighborhood, and for the kingdom of God. We can get this thing done. It's time to do it right. And it's time to do it right now. Till next time, this is Susan Hamilton, Offbeat Business Media.